Hi everyone, thanks for joining the Rutgers Cooperative Extension of Mercer County Family and Community Health Sciences Department SNAP Ed program. In this video, we're going to talk about physical activity guidelines for children and adolescents. There are many health benefits of physical activity. Health benefits of physical activity occur in generally all people of all ages. Physical activity reduces the risk of developing chronic diseases like heart disease, type 2 diabetes, obesity, and more. Physical activity can help improve overall mood and increase better sleep. It's important to provide young people opportunities and encouragement to participate in physical activities that are appropriate for their age, that are enjoyable, and that offer variety. Children and adolescents ages 6 through 17 years should do 60 minutes or more of moderate to physical activity daily. So what does moderate to vigorous physical activity mean? This just means any movement that requires more energy use beyond normal resting levels. Your heart rate and your breathing rates will increase above normal resting levels. Most of the 60 minutes or more per day should be either moderate or vigorous intensity aerobic physical activity and should include vigorous intensity physical activity on at least three days of the week. Aerobic activities are those in which young people rhythmically move their large muscles for a sustained period of time. Some examples include running, hopping, skipping, jump rope, swimming, dancing, and bicycling. As part of their 60 minutes or more of daily physical activity, children and adolescents should include muscle strengthening physical activity on at least three days of the week. Muscle strengthening activities make muscles do more work than usual during activities of daily life. This is called overload and strengthens the muscles. Some examples are playing on the playground equipment, climbing trees safely, and playing tug of war. As part of their 60 minutes or more of daily physical activity, children and adolescents should include bone strengthening activity on at least three days of the week. Bone strengthening activities produce a force on the bones of the body that promote bone growth and strength. This force is commonly produced by impact with the ground. Some examples of these bone strengthening activities include running, jumping rope, basketball, tennis, and hopscotch. As these examples illustrate, bone strengthening activities can also be aerobic and muscle strengthening. Follow us on Facebook for delicious recipes and other great nutrition content. Scan the QR code on the screen with your smartphone camera to be directed to our Facebook page for a quick and easy way to follow us. Stay tuned for more videos to come soon on more delicious nutrition content.